I've heard guys say, oh, I would never date Kim K, she's a this, she's a that. Would Kim K date you? Oh, you shouldn't think like that. You can get anyone you want. Tyler, yeah, this fairy yeah, tale see, life, man. People would be saying, how can they support the channel? Chisel, bye, chisel. I've got tops, got hoodies. I've got the Jungle Ball Z tees, like the Pain and Full Star tees. You lot could support, buy some of the merch. I'll be able to churn out more content. This one, I'm just waiting by myself for the, for the moment and I'll bring out more colors. Please support me. Hey, Mar Marvin was in his element out there, boy. He loves it, boy. <laughs> he loves it. That guy was just there doing t TikTok real guy, filming every time he was driving. Bare times, I just I just left the car with him. You see, uh, you see Marvin and the timekeeping, Gabriel. Bob, I don't even I don't even want to talk about that Marvin guy. Oh, Gabriel, the timekeeping. Like you know, certain days, yeah, I'll be like, oh yeah, we need to go do this, we need to go do that, brother. In LA, yeah, those bare days, yeah. We didn't get out to like five, six. In, in the afternoon, because of Marvin chilling. You know what I did? The last couple of days in LA, I just jumped in an Uber. I was just like, this is expensive. He's the Marvin. worst person to go on holiday with. You'd have something planned. <laughs> You'll ring Marvin, he'll act like he didn't hear his phone. Oh, Hold I on. didn't see you ringing me. This These is the times... same phone that you just used to message saying you didn't know I rang. <laughs> And you're telling me you didn't know I rang. You're messaging me and telling me you didn't no, know no, I rang. No, 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 it's not that. No, no. Register. Oh, you did ring. No, 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 no. Gabe was not that. He's in the DMs, Kiki Kia with us. Must have joked with a man them. So Marvin would be there, must have joked with a man them. So I just said to myself, right, the last couple of days in LA, I was like, I'm not even going to wake up Marvin in the morning. Whenever he decides to message me, he messages me. I remember like uh, one of the days I went, I went gym with Renee. They went to eat with Renee, left, left Renee, went to meet uh, Carly. Carly used to live here. Mm -hmm. Went uh, lunch with Carly. Mm -hmm. Then I bumped into them, you know them uh, girls from Insta, the Clermont twins. I don't see bare people giving them nasty looks in, in yeah. the place. Why? Where, huh? Why? Because their BBL just looks mad and their lips look crazy. So people was giving them nasty looks. I just i see no line, so I just didn't care. You know the ones? But it was just like, you know, like, LA is a place you bump to everyone, isn't it? Then there was some, uh, some famous uh, fitness girl, I forgot her name, but she was just sitting the table next to mine. So, you know, like, I looked and she looked and I was wearing my, I was wearing my Hoochie Daddy shorts, the five inch shorts. So, I said the Hoochie Daddy shorts? <laughs> yeah. The body riders, yeah? <laughs> my five inch shorts. So, <laughs> she knew man had a Hoochie Daddy swag. But she looked, I looked, I said, then, uh, who else? Who else? Like, yeah. After that, I went back to the hotel. Then Lydia, she used to live out here. Lydia came and saw okay. me. And all these times, I haven't heard from Marv. That guy? So I've literally, brother, I've literally. He's a cannon. I've gone out, I've done this, I've done that. I've linked to three people. Marvin was in his room. Yeah. Yeah. He was in his room. Yes. I was like, right. You would message him, you would ring him. He would, he would say he didn't see it. Yeah. And it's the exact same phone. He's messaging you back, saying he didn't, I didn't know you called. Yeah. Brother, you're holding the same phone. Brother, he, he was, Marvin, Marvin was literally, like, he was literally, he was literally in his, in his waste, room. Man. He missed, he missed the whole of that day. Then, uh, there was another time I went somewhere else. I can't remember where I went, but I linked a few people. And Marvin's like, oh, where was he? I said, brother, you was... Yeah. You, you, you sound like you was asleep. You get me, I walked past your room. I didn't hear nothing. So that I said, yeah, cannon. I kept it moving, boy. I said, I'm not even going to... Then even even in uh, ATL, ATL, like, a couple of times, I was like, right, I had stuff to do. Yeah. Just went off quickly, did what I needed to do. Like, even uh, the... So the clip he posted in the gym, that was after we went raving. So he was about to sleep. Yeah. And I said, no, 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 we're getting gym. Yeah. I'm like, we need to film some mm. more content. We need to link some more people. So I forced him to get up. But uh, yeah, I didn't let him sleep. I yeah. forced him. I said, yeah, because if not, we would have missed, we'd have missed yeah. the whole day. So uh, the day before now, I met some uh, some people at the pool party. So one of the people I met, some you, he was like, ah, oh, uh, so he says, Let, let's catch a gym session before you leave. So I was like, right, you know what, yeah, we can go. I was like, yeah, we can go, we can go tomorrow. 
because I've only got a couple of days left. So we went gym. My man came and got me. We went gym. Uh, that's how I met all the people in the gym before mm. the next day when me and Marv went. But literally, I don't even think Marv knew that I left. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think he knew I left. That I just literally just carried on with my day, boy. Proper cannon I did what I needed to do, boy. But yeah, ah, fam. I swear I could have fallen in love 30 times there. But uh, while I was laughing, yeah, imagine, yeah, <laughs> I'm in a group with Mandem, yeah, and they'll send girls that they fancy yeah. from America and that. So I'm in a group now, <laughs> and a man has sent a girl, yeah, I just laughed. I was just like, rah, literally, <laughs> yeah. five minutes before, I was just chatting to her. Yeah. I said, like, yeah, add me on Instagram. I was like, yeah, cool, cool, cool. Then the next man sent another girl. Yeah. And five minutes before, I'm chatting to her yeah. as well and her crew. So like everyone they like were saying, Cali. This is at LA or Atlanta. Sorry. This was at the QC party. So that was at Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah. So literally, all these buff black Instagram girls and mm. artists, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, that all these men were crushing over, they were just chatting to my like regular. Yeah. The moment they hear, like everyone, it was a ball in it. Mm. So everyone's wearing suits and that. So our shit kind of stood out because most men were wearing black. Yeah. But we looked like. The rowdy rough boys. You look like the Power Rangers. The Red Ranger, <laughs> Blue Ranger, and the Green Ranger. Yeah, we look like the, the rowdy rough boys. So like red, blue, and green. Yeah. So like they're coming and chatting and like, oh, you smell nice and dirt, I like your suit and the fit. And then, yeah, yeah. so like I'm there smiling. Then I just open my mouth. Oh my God, he's from London. Chico, Chico, Chico. Hey, That's if you hear the ex- exaggerated English accent. Hello, good afternoon, Esquire. Oh God. Oh, the weather is very moderate this evening. <laughs> but I had to exaggerate the. Yeah. So, like, yeah, literally. I would have every... pulled out a crumpet from my blazer. You know, just... <laughs> <laughs> hey! I would have pulled out a kettle and a tea. Me, just pull out a crumpet. And, and you know, when you, when you pull the, the tea, you have to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let it drip there from there. Pull out a crumpet. No, I was mad because literally every girl that they was talking about, like, even at the end, I was leaving, I see one and she looked and I waved and I was thinking to myself, I can't be bothered to even chat to you now because I'm yeah. tired. Like, it, because I was drunk, bro. I was drunk, and yeah. like, when everyone was talking to me, like, oh yeah, add me on this. I'm like, yeah, 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 you know, like when you're waved. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like it was the last night as well, in it. So we knew that we had our flight the next day, innit? but I was just laughing because you see the thing about there, yeah. Mm-hmm. The 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 people that I, I get like how. I was chatting to one of the girls here. I get like the volume of messages they get. Brother, if you've got like one million followers yeah, and nearly every man, every man messaging you shooting their shot, you're not going to be checking your DMs. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. You're not going to be checking. It's trying to find a way out. But that's a whole thing to come out there, bro. No, it's not going to come out because of that. Because of the bucket. So, uh, flipping. Imagine here, yeah, you, you got a, you got a million, you got a million, a million plus followers. Every man shooting their shot. Yeah. You're not going to be answering your DMs. You get what I'm saying? You're not going to answer your DMs because every man is literally after you. So, uh, when in real life now, if the same girl sees you and you chat to her, it's a whole different ball game, isn't it? Because mm. now it's like face to face. Yeah, now you really got to, you're no longer hiding behind the six inch screen. Yeah, like, let's so, talk now. yeah. so if she you know sees you and she, do you smell yeah. good? If, yeah. if she sees you and you're looking on point, the, yeah. the game is different now. It's just like, like the next day I, I'm, I'm looking at my DMs like, oh yeah, when you're back in, in Atlanta, oh, nice mm. to meet you, blah, 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 see you soon, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we should, we should link up when, when I'm in London, blah, blah, blah. Mm. We should, uh, you should come on my pod or you should come on this or blah. blah. Yeah. And I was just there to think to myself, rah, like you just have to be in the right place at the mm. right time because all these girls that the man them are fantasizing about and mm. all that and don't think are accessible. They're very accessible because bearing them will say that, rah, most men in real life are shook to chat to them. Yeah. Because they think Because they're following, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, they're following. Mm. But these times they, they're just there getting ignored in the, in the, in the dance yeah because they're following not everyone's got the confidence you know sometimes you try to you see a lady you like and you get stage fright you know you start stuttering like gareth gates you what know? are you saying you start yeah no it's, 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 it's the best of us 
I get so weak in the knees. I can hardly yeah, see. It happens. I'm losing. The best of us have had um, this guy who's serious. Yeah. <laughs> when it goes in, I remember crazy legs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll be standing, but upper body will be still. My knees will just be. You get me? Blue suede shoes like Elvis Presley. Like, I used to be proper sugar girls. I can't even lie to you, bro. Like, there's a level of confidence shook. that you need to have, though, and it's hard. I remember growing up as well. I used to get stage fright. Sometimes I walk, like I'm going to chat to her. I'll be walking, doing the team talking myself. Come on, you can do this. You can do this, Gabriel. See, that's how I'll be like. <laughs> Damn! And I'll say again, I'm going to do it. But the worst thing is that, see when you're in a club or in a rave, or whatever it is, and it's dark, and then obviously the people can see that when a guy's beeline into a woman. But when that phone light don't come out, that's, that's, what, that's what you call the rule walk of shame. You've got to walk back and say to the man, bro, what happened, G? Well, you know what? She used to be a man. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's it. That's it. you got to make up some mean, kind of story. Are you trying to kill me? you got to make up some story. <laughs> if I'm coming to chat a woman up and I don't, the, the phone light don't come out, I'll be like, yo. Hey, the weight that he dropped. Yeah. <laughs> she used to be a man. Yeah. Her name's Frederick. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you gotta do. <laughs> that embarrassment of not getting the number. But even that though, even when it comes to rejection though, I remember I was watching something online talking about men that, you know, when women, sometimes women just give their number out because yeah. they don't want to get into any physical yeah. altercations with men. Yeah. Like, you know, sometimes men can't take rejection. I heard yeah. that's why women don't just give their numbers out. Yeah. You know, sometimes you go, you know them ones when you're chatting to a woman, you're about to take the number. You know, you gotta make sure she rings your phone there and then, babes. <laughs> don't try and give man the wrong number. Don't piss me off. Don't try and give man the wrong Back in the day, that's what, I was a terrorist back in the day, because sometimes I'll get the wrong number. So I'm like, yo, so what's your, what's, 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 what's your number, babes? She'd be like, oh yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll take yours. I'll be like, yeah, you're going to ring me now. Are you, are you ringing me now? Or she'll give you the number. I'm like, yeah, I've got credit, babe. I'm ringing you straight away. Oh, 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 basically, like, um, that's, that, that's like my, no, 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 you're going to give me the wrong number. Hey, come around the corner. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me chat to you. Let me chat to you around the corner. But no, it's hard. <laughs> Because sometimes obviously women don't know about, well, some women know about rejection, but generally speaking, it's men who talk to women. Yeah. And that rejection hurts. I remember one time, I think I was about 24 or 5. See me, just let me down gently in it. Let me down gently in it. Don't, don't hurt my pride too much. So imagine I'm going to chat up one babes now. Get me. These times it was all the Christian or DJ Ed Hardy days. So I've got my little Dan Montes on. I'm feeling myself. Fresh white crepes, blue jeans, Ed Hardy top. Can't go wrong. Mercy the Ed Yardy. So as I've gone to speak My to her God. now, I'm rapping, rapping, rapping. So then I asked her for her number at the end. She goes, oh, no, 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 um, you know, I, I can't give you my number. So in my head, the first thing I'm thinking for, she's got a man in it. So I goes, oh, you got a man? She goes, no, just don't want to give you my number. <sighs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what? At least tell me you got a man in it or tell me some kind of story. <laughs> tell me that you just come out of a... I have a 56 year relationship. I know she might have been 23, but at least tell me you just come out of a 56 year relationship so I can feel a bit better. Mercy, I assume she had a man. 56 year. She said to me, No, I ain't got a man. I just don't want to give you my number. I said, Mercy, said, a rude girl, send me your number. A rude girl, send me it your number. Hurts now, you know, you only get like that, 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 that heart. Get heart. A rude girl, ache. send me your number. A rude girl. Yeah, I've, I've seen situations. And the funniest thing is that when a guy will move to a woman and then the. You know, he doesn't get the number. He says you're butters anyway. And I'm just like, hmm, that don't make sense, fella. But I get it. The pride and ego's hurt. So all of a sudden, that pretty face doesn't look as pretty anymore. You know? <laughs> he's, he's a master of personality. So when we say you look butters anyway, we're talking about the personality. You know, I'm joking. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking. But it's, it's mad, though. Because sometimes I've had, I've had female friends complain. I talk about being single for so long, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. You won't meet, she, well, they claim they won't meet guys online. You know, some of them are working from home now. They don't want to give their number out in parties or bars or clubs. Yeah. And I always say, well, are you expecting someone to burgle your yard to give you their number? Or how do you expect to meet somebody? You know, and that's, that's, that's the funniest thing is that how do you expect to meet someone? You know, and I'm, I, think, I think more women should maybe try to approach guys, you know. And just, you just need to know your levels in life. And people get offended when I say know your level in life. I know my level. I know my bread is buttered. You know, um, sometimes I, I get rejected. You know, there's nothing worse than what happened there. I said, sometimes know your level. Ooh, this guy wants to go viral. No but, uh, no, but people act like there's not a level in life. Like, you know, like sometimes people, I've heard guys say, oh, I would never date Kim K. She's a this, she's a that. Would Kim K date you? <laughs> no, like, you just, like, move. Like, are you even in the same arena or the same place as Kim <laughs> K can go? And someone's going to say, oh, you shouldn't think like that. You can get anyone you want. Oh, 
Tired of yeah, this fairy yeah, tale see, life, man. Yeah, that, that part there. That, that's that not might, your levels. That might be a lie. That's not your levels. People that, love this and all these celebrities. Oh, this one, this one, this one, that. Oh, she's a hoe. Is she hoeing for you? <laughs> can you get that hoe, brother? <laughs> but, Tunji? Tunji, <laughs> Dapo, Folake? Can you get that? <laughs> I can never date King K. I never. Will she, d- does she know you exist? <laughs> I don't think I can even do three plates anymore. <laughs> But uh, I just about got like four. I don't think I could even do this weight, mate. I just about got four. If I get, if I get one rep, I'll be happy. Ah, let's see now. One rep like he, like his other performance. Let's see. <laughs> well, 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 how do you even know that? How do you even know this? Yeah? This is so, it's so uncouth of you. Someone told me still. Is this someone told you? Like, yeah, you she was like, even do ah. this. I, I, I wish I met you before your your, your brother hey, Gabriel. Jesus Christ, tell, tell you, of the, the Christ! Hey. He's a one minute man. Hey. Man like one minute gabs. Hey. And you see, it's because I called him a one minute man. He's trying to prove hey. something. Jesus Christ, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hey, he was looking for my help. No, 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 no. Let me say we're gonna free the bird. Bro, I don't know you what know you're what talking about. You know what we're gonna about. do, yeah? When 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 Mel wants to free the bird, yeah, we're gonna leave the door open. We're gonna shut the door. <laughs> we're just gonna hide until it goes. You know what I mean? I'm gonna. Well, I think I'm gonna create a little barricade and Bro, face everything that way. I'm not here when you're doing that. I'll, I'll, tell, you, I'll tell you that for free. Mel's gonna, Mel's gonna let go of Sion. Like it can fly from there to there. They're gonna they're gonna cook the bird in Sion. <laughs> Who wants a new new meal on the menu? But yeah, another thing in in thingy, you've got like big communities mm. so you've got Koreatown Japantown and Chinatown in LA okay so like uh, Koreatown the whole area is full of yeah. Koreans Japantown full, full of, of Japanese, Japanese yeah. Chinatown same thing so how do you how do you how do you know the difference between all three of them huh how do you differentiate the difference between all three sorry you Just know what how. it's mad because it's only when they're next to each other mm. that you start to see like slight little it's weird, like, you, you have to have... <laughs> what was not? No, no, you, no. Hey, <laughs> Wes, you know, like, you know, like, you know, like, you know, like, when people think all black people look the same? Hey, Wes, you know, like, <laughs> hey, Wes, you know, like, hey, Wes, you know when people think all black people look the same? Like, in other cultures? No, I was wondering, because no, you no, see me, other, I'm no. ignorant sometimes. Like, you know what it is as well? Like, certain cultures... <laughs> hey, hey. Where you see most Japanese people... Well, light skin eyes, what do you mean? No, nah, where you see most Japanese people, facially, their features is more... It's more flatter compared to okay. the Chinese guys. And also, height-wise as mm. well, you tend to see like different in... Say, when you're going through the three areas, mm. you start to notice little differences where yeah. some just look like they're all taller than... No, it's interesting because yeah, sometimes little they're very ignorant. Because yeah. even when I go to my butcher sometimes, the guy, I walk in and go, yeah, well, I'll go on. And he'll say, say, tell it to me. And I'm like, I'm not Jamaican. Jamaican. It's fine, yeah. but... I'm not Jamaican. Yeah, like, it's, just no, no, it's like, yeah, other cultures assume more black people are the same. The same but, yeah. yeah, yeah. But it's the same how we assume. I was wondering if you had the yeah. eye to kind it's of like, know no, the difference no, it's between like even, even here where, a Japanese or Chinese. Even here where you might have, uh, like even here where you'd have uh, people from Southeast Asia, mm-hmm. everyone assumes some from Sri Lanka, yeah. India and Pakistan are all mm-hmm. the same. But after being around certain cultures, you start to notice different differences where Mm. Most Indian men don't really rock beards. Okay. If you notice that. Mm. I never noticed that. Yeah, most Indian men don't really rock beards. Okay. It's more Pakistani man you see all the time with beards, but you never realise that unless you're around yeah. them lot all the time. So you start to to pick up a little things, mm. you know what I mean? But yeah, like it was just shocking like how they've got real solid communities, like like real, real solid I I waited for Lagos town. Yeah. Like, they ain't coming. Huh? You ain't getting that. <laughs> you ain't getting that. Yeah, yeah. But that's why it's important to assimilate and meet new people and have melting pots so you can appreciate other people's other people's cultures. Yeah. You know, cause that's one thing growing up. I think a lot of people don't mix. And that's why even when I was growing up, all I thought Chinese people did was Kung Fu. Literally, that's all I thought they did growing up. Honestly, I thought every Chinese person knew how to do Kung Fu and fight. Or they just cooked. I didn't know Chinese people. Honestly, I didn't know Chinese people went to tech. Like, if you think about growing up, did you yeah. ever know that Chinese people went to tech? All we thought about Chinese people was their takeaway shops yeah. and Kung Fu. Yeah. Uh, what, did, you, did you think of anything else? No. In the no. same way, like, even when people go to, to, like, Nigeria or go to countries in Africa, they start filming these big houses, and then people are shocked, like, oh, my gosh, there's houses in Nigeria? Yeah. Oh, my God. 
they think, live they live inside a house it's not they, a hut they, or a shut they, they, they or a we, shanty house they think we live in huts yeah karen get along with this karen and, and they think flies are flying across our yeah. face obviously, <laughs> obviously some, some of the, there are some kids who are the flies are doing hopscotch <laughs> they are on their face there are some kids but there are there are bad parts and there are good parts but it's important to show the good sides but that that, that it's the same thing everywhere in the world like mm. like i said visually from from our footage it mm. looked like america's just yeah one nice place yeah. yeah but i'm not going to be walking around filming the homeless and skid row and all of this yeah i'm not going to do that yeah you know what i mean that's people's privacy isn't it yeah but i guess it just yeah. shows that there are other sides to to everything yeah you know yeah. i just find it funny when people see footage of nigeria or ghana even like when i went to ghana i was shocked i saw roads <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what did you think they was walking on water? Wow. <laughs> hey, where's man's testing out the is floor? This safe? <laughs> is this safe to hey, walk on? Hey, what you thought you was walking a jello? Do you know what I mean? I don't know what was going on. <laughs> you thought you was walking a, a I don't know Gary. what it was. I just wanted to just make sure this is safe. You know, they man, had hotels was, in he, Ghana. You thought it was paint and Gary. Yeah, no, it was nice. Even the water was fresh. Like, I jumped in the pool. I was like, hmm. I was shocked. Because all I've ever seen of Ghana is these short men, these short angry men just with their flat black back heads. That's what I've seen in Ghana. Just literally angry short men. So when I went to Ghana and I saw a couple of tall men, I was just like, oh. There was built up cities, built up roads, there was hotels. They even had card keys for the hotels. I thought it was just going to be like a key, you know, like the door keys you put in. They actually, you can actually tap a key and it opens. I said, wow. This is the part of Ghana they don't show. That's why it's important to assimilate. I said, wow. It's important to have media, you know, to see how things are. 